What was that command again to archive my .NET MAUI app so I can publish it to the App Store? Is that something that looks familiar? Then keep on watching this video because I'm going to show you an amazing VS Code extension that will help you to archive and publish your .NET MAUI app to the stores. In an earlier video, I've already talked about the .NET MAUI VS Code extension, which allows you to develop your .NET MAUI app straight from Visual Studio Code on Windows, Mac OS, even on Linux. Um, and it is in preview available for you right now, but it does not have all the features yet that are in Visual Studio on Windows or Visual Studio for Mac. And you know, as it is with Visual Studio Code, there's also some more manual work, right? That's just how Visual Studio Code works. There's a little bit more terminal commands and that kind of stuff. But especially if you want to publish your apps, the commands can become rather long and hard to remember. Um, but luckily we also have an amazing community. And in this case, Andras, I hope I pronounced your name correctly, from Budapest, Hungary, has created this amazing Visual Studio Code extension that will help you with another piece of .NET MAUI development, namely the archiving and publishing of your .NET MAUI apps to something that you can distribute to devices, even through app stores. So let's just hop into Visual Studio Code and I'm going to tell you all there is to know about this amazing extension. So I'm showing you this from macOS today, but VS Code looks the exact same across all the platforms that it supports. Uh, so it should look exactly the same on Windows as well. And um, here I already have the page open for this extension. So just go to this extensions pane right here, search for .NET MAUI archive publish tool, or just search for .NET MAUI, which will probably pop up. Um, and the buttons will be a little bit different here because it will say install for you, install it, and it will be available inside of your VS Code installation, which is really cool. You can see here the README, um, so downloads, it's it's almost a crime, not even a thousand yet, so you can be an early adopter, which is really cool, uh, and a little description of what it is exactly. And I'm going to show you, of course, in this video, which is um, uh, going to be great. So here we have the support of platforms, Android from macOS and Windows, right? Because we can build Android from both macOS and Windows. iOS only from macOS, that's just a restriction from Apple. Um, maybe, you know, we have this amazing solution from Visual Studio Windows to actually connect to your Mac. Maybe that will come for this extension, but maybe it's also like um, a little bit too much for a community extension, so we'll see. And for Windows, kind of like the same thing, we cannot build anything uh, for Windows on a Mac, right? So that's there. Mac Catalyst plan for Q2 2020 24, so stay tuned. Um, but here, the roadmap is even more exciting. Direct upload to Google Play, direct upload to Test Flight and App Store. That would be really amazing if Andras could pull that off because that would mean that you can go to um, the Google Play Store and the App Store or Test Flight straight from Visual Studio Code. So you would just have your app, hack, 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 creating your app and boom, upload it to the store to your beta testers. That would be really amazing if you could pull it off. And then after that, Mac Catalyst published, right? The installation, super cool. I already just showed you how to do that. Um, you can go to the marketplace and get some more. Also about the available commands, but I'm going to to skip over that because that's just something that you can show. Let's create a new .NET MAUI project first so I can show you all the commands in action right here. Uh, I don't know if this extension is actually dependent on the .NET MAUI Visual Studio Code extension. So if it installs um, this extension that it will automatically install the .NET MAUI extension, but I'm going to assume that you've installed that extension as well. Else go watch that other video. I highly recommend that you do. And whenever you have this, you can do Command P or Control P on Windows, angle bracket, and you can do .NET and you will have all kinds of .NET commands right here. And you could do new project. It's going to load all the templates on your machine and you can um, instantiate all these new projects, ASP.NET, Blazor, but also the .NET MAUI apps here right at the top. Now you can totally do that or you can go into a terminal, uh, which I like to do and do .NET new MAUI. So it will create a new MAUI project dash N so that I can give it a custom name and then say publish sample. So it's going to generate the project files for me right now. And then I can change directory. Did you know CD stands for change directory? Uh, publish sample. And let's go in there. And then what you can do, also a little pro tip right here, is code insiders. Uh, I use the insiders one, else it will be just code dot, which stands for the current directory, dash R, and it will reload this window and open um, this folder uh, inside of your VS Code um, instance. So that's really cool, right? Now the .NET MAUI VS Code extension will kick in. It will start loading it as a solution, uh, all that kind of stuff in the background. So you can start building your .NET MAUI application. You can see some things popping in here. 
here you can see the solution explorer opening so you will have more of that um, visual studio experience going on straight from visual studio code again i would highly recommend that you watch the other video right after this one if you don't know what i'm talking about um, i have some updates that's all fine some output here and i'm just going to close that right now okay but now that we have this dotnet maui i'm just going to use this blank uh, app because it's not about the dotnet maui app in this case what i can do is do it again, command P or control P um, and do the angle bracket and you can see archive. So we have all these um, archive commands right here. And what is really cool is that uh, Andras also links to the documentation because the publishing um, um, procedure, uh, it is very extensive, right? Um, on Apple, it's very, very extensive. It can be very complex for Android, a little less so, but still there's a lot of steps to take, a lot of things that you need to know before you can publish your app to the App Store. So I would highly recommend that you read the documentation and really get an understanding of what is going on here. Um, but this extension will help help you go through the steps. So you will go to the actual like official Microsoft Learn documentation by going through these links. Um, and then here you have the kind of like main commands, publish Windows, which you cannot do from macOS, but if you're on Windows, you can do that and it will publish your Windows application, publish iOS so you can publish your iOS application and publish Android. Now, if you've done this before, then you probably know for Android, you need that key store that um, has a couple of settings. For iOS, you need provisioning profiles and all that kind of stuff. Um, and for Windows, I actually didn't test it out to be very honest, um, but you would need some certificates as well. So I, I would hope that this extension would generate some stuff for you, but otherwise it will guide you through the steps. Um, for iOS, let's start with iOS. List provisioning profiles, right? So you can just list your provisioning profiles. Um, I'm not going to explain in detail what that all is about. Let me know down in the comments. I'm planning, I'm starting to plan a little video about the ultimate guide to like the App Store and provisioning profiles. Would that be interesting to you? Please let me know down in the comments so I know it's worth my time to look into that. Um, but here we have a list of the available provisioning profiles. So it doesn't really tell you much other than you can just list them and don't have to go to Xcode to actually check it out. Uh, but you know, that these are all here. So if we go back and again do this command and do archive, um, archive if I can type correctly, um, the same thing for like Android, you can list the key stores and check um, the commands. Actually, I see I run into a bug or something here, or it's not, I haven't set my machine up correctly. I don't know which one it is. Um, also for Android, you can generate a code signing key from right here, which is cool. If you've done that before, if you've created a key store, then you can go into here. You have to give it a name, my key, you have to give it a password, or I think you can actually leave it blank as well. Uh, I'm just going to choose some password. And then you have to provide some value so that it can uh, use that to generate and encrypt your key store. So let's just do Gerald and I think you can skip some other things here so la 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 and then it will gen generate your key store that you can now use to sign your application as well when you've done that what you can now do is Maui archive and you can just say hey publish Android and which um, project do you, do you want me to publish? Well, we just have one in this case, but you might have a project with multiple Dan and Maui apps in there. So you can just choose which project you want to publish. I'm just going to go with this one. Do you want to have it signed or unsigned? Kind of like, you know, do you want to have it all ready to go through the app store or do you want to have an unsigned one to just provide to a test device or something like that? Uh, I'm going to go with unsigned right now because I don't have everything set up for a signed one, I think. Uh, you can choose APK or AAB, right? You can just do that, whichever you want. AAB is the new format that you should use for the Google Play Store, but APK is still easier, I think, to just distribute as a single file. Um, so let's just do this one. And you can see like the actual command, it, it runs here as well. Um, so, you know, if you just want to know about that one, you can see it from right here. You can inspect the terminal output, what is going to ha what is going to happen here. So this VS Code extension just helps you to make this a little bit easier and do not have to remember .NET publish, whole path, dash F, um, identifier of the platform that you want to do, uh, configuration release, Android package format, blah, 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 blah. You don't need to remember all that. I'm terrible at that. I have all kinds of notepads, sticky notes everywhere with the commands and then I lose them. So it's horrible. Um, and now I don't have to anymore. I can just use this extension. So it's going to run this uh, while it does. 
Let's inspect this other thing. There's also a couple of settings right here. So Maui Archive Settings. Um, and it's in the README from the extension. There is a little bit more uh, description of what this is exactly. Uh, you can set the Android Key Store direct directory. You can set the default build configuration, which is probably going to be released, right? You want to have that release build. Um, the .NET version to use. It does a lot of this out of the box automatically. You don't have to worry about this. But if you need to tweak some things in here, then you definitely um, um, can do that from the settings right here. Andras, if you're watching this video, this is just for you. I noticed a couple of typos here. This iOS runtime seems a little bit weird. And this explicity, expl explicity? <laughs> iOS version. Uh, oh, it's probably iOS here as well. It's a little bit funny as well. So you might want to fix those. I will make sure to have a bug report in your repository. So we have a couple of settings here. And um, normally, you don't have to see these. But you know, if you have to tweak something, then this is the place to do it. Um, and then you know it's still running that that Android build. What I what I can also do is like publish iOS, uh, which kind of like works the same way. It follows the same path, and I would expect it for Windows to do as well. You can um, choose the project that it has to do. Select the signing identity, right? You have this signing um, account for your Apple development account that you need to have in place to actually um, 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 go to distribute your apps. So I have this one, and then you can select that provisioning profile. Now I have to select this uh, wildcard development thing, else it's not going to work. And again, you can see the terminal output here. It will set all the um, kind of like build arguments correctly. Like no one's going to remember this, right? Code signing key is Apple development, blah, 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 blah. No one's going to remember that. This VS Code extension is awesome. It's going to build my app. And you can see it right here actually in the folder, bin, release, Android, publish. And here is my um, AAB, APK, AAB, it has all the things. And for iOS, it's going to also build my application right here, here in the publish folder. I'm going to find my app that is publishable to the App Store. This is really great. So what do you think? Let me know down in the comments if this is useful for you. I already mentioned like Andras, I've been in contact with him. He's very open to feedback. So if you have anything, it's all open source too. You can contribute by opening an issue, uh, opening a pull request if you know the fix as well. But if you have any amazing ideas for features, that would be great. It would be really great. I already mentioned it. If you could just publish straight to the Google Play Store and App Store from Visual Studio Code, that would be a huge time saver for everyone, I guess. Um, so I hope Andras will pull that off and maybe you can help him a little uh, with his open source project. Let me know if there's anything else that you want to see down in the comments below. And now is the time to check out that video about the .NET MAUI VS Code extension, which you can see right here. And I'll be seeing you on that one.